when he's able to locate, he is really, really good. Season. On the ground and through for a base hit. Chopped high on the ground. That's fair. Gonzalez on his horse to third as Myers has some trouble with the baseball in the corner. Gonzalez comes around, touches home. Croft all the way to third base. And Croft gets that big bounce out in front of home plate. It's a hitter you love when it's hard in front of home. You like these kind of base hits. Bounces over the top of Bates at third. And like you said, Myers gets in the corner down there and he just can't quite get it. Kicks past him and that does allow each of the base runners to get an extra base. Individuals have great weekends. Knocks this one to first. There's out number one. Multiple times you'll see 114, 115. Strike three call. Martinez locks him up. Lund. Looks at that one. Strike three. Back to back, backwards case to end the inning for Greg Martinez. And then you have to come back out, and obviously you're playing on the top five team in the country. Not easy to break in the lineup. That just tells you how good the Ole Miss coaching staff thinks time alone can be. Coral Gables Regional. High chopper again. Slips through. We saw that back in the first inning. Ethan Groff had one just kind of like it, but down the third base line. Bases are loaded. You don't want to be putting back-to-back -back guys on base, and you certainly don't want to be doing that. That hits Ethan Groff. Malone comes home. Ole Miss leads 2-0. Grand Slam already this year. Chops this one to first. And the end of the inning. So they put up a big old batter's eye. And that's scorched up the middle for a base hit. And Kemp Alderman's on. Fast. Mm -hmm. Now he breaks for second base. Showing off his wheels. Slips to the right side, base hit for Clarko. Alderman around third. Three nothing ball game. Pass to diving Bates into the corner and left field. Clarko stays put at third at second base. Leger. Back to back to back hits for Ole Miss here in the third. He certainly hit one a long way, and um, he admired it. <laughs> Comes up empty there. Oh, strike three. Because I mean, he, he would agree with you. Chases that one. End of the inning. And Greg Martinez gets out of another traffic jam here in the third. Himself, but overall, battled hard, kept his team in the game. Another hard shot by Gonzalez, his second hit today. Another leadoff single by Gonzalez. Gonzalez off the first base bag. He's caught in between in no man's land, and he's tagged out. Throw to second base. Unfortunately for the Rebels, that was in the seven, ended up only being at seven innings, too. That pick off goes all the way to the sidewall, and Groff is up to second base. Clocks this one up the middle. Around third, here comes Groff. Ole Miss has scored in every inning in this ball game. Back up the middle. Through for a base hit. And Calarco has a multi-hit day. It's his fourth multi-hit game this season for Ole Miss. Well, Clarko hits a rocket. Brandon Bennett, second base umpire, almost can't get out of the way of this. We see Clarko go down and get it. Watch this angle right here. Watch Brandon Bennett, second base umpire. Oh, there it is. A little barrel roll, get out of there. <laughs> Why he might be pulling me over. <laughs> Off the end of the bat. Oh, drop by Davis, the first baseman, but he steps on the bag. And that's the end of the inning. Ole Miss does scratch one across. A two-pitch mix. Check swing, did he go? No, he didn't. Ball four. And the first base runner for Louisiana Tech today. Up and in, back-to-back -back walks by Quinn. 
back up the middle. Gonzalez tried to glove flip, I believe, to second base to turn something, but now bases are loaded. Infield hit. And in the air to right center field. Very deep. This ball is off the wall. A lot of runs are going to score here. One run is in. Two runs are in. Louisiana Tech has cut the deficit in half. And a way to get your first hit of the year, bringing a couple of runs against the reigning champs to cut the deficit. It's a fastball out over the plate. And Safford hit this one a ton. What? Wasn't completely sure if the ballpark was going to hold it. Chopped to third. Runner comes home. Leger throws in time. Big second out. Hit high and deep to right field. McCants on the run. This ball's gone. The Bulldogs fight back here in the fifth. Ross battled at the plate then, got a pitch up that he could handle. He just turns on this one. Look at that swing. That's a good one. Kantz goes back, thinks he's got a shot at it, and just like that. Through two innings, struck out two. Ball four. Two games to one. Ball four. On the ground, right side, gets through, tie game. End of the third is Leger, he's there safely. McCants back to first safely. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ole Miss ties the game off the RBI single by TJ McCants. It'd be a good time, so stop by. Knock down the right field line, Logan McLeod. And the leadoff single for the Bulldogs to start the seventh inning. For a big win today on the road. Yeah. Walks him. And with nobody out, the Bulldogs have runners on first and second base. A long time since they had scored. The bunt hit. Bates in the box. Actually, they're saying it hit him out oh, of the box. Oh, hit him out of the box, excuse me. Out. Game, I mean, this can do a lot. Punched into left center field, down for a base hit. McLeod hits third on his way home. The throw goes into second base. It's in time. Bulldogs, though, take the lead, six to five. Swing and a miss. Four strikeouts for Batulia today. And Kimbrell gets out of the inning. Tying runs aboard. Taylor made, Hegwood second for one, first for two. Big double play for the Bulldogs. Crowd gets loud. Swinging a foul tip back to the mid of Corona. Ball game. Louisiana Tech takes down Ole Miss in Oxford for the first time since 1989.